It's all in Russia. It's asking a day early. Unless she's just had a walk. Oh, she just fell off the bed. Come on. There you go. And a quick treat for Russia. Right, into the office. So we did set the trail cam up last night. And Dan picked mine up this morning when he picked his up. And he thinks we've got some footage. So we'll see. Let's hope so. It's, um, it's going to open up things first. All right, so this morning we've had a software update on Gemma Park. That's like the online portal booking system that we have. And blow me down, yet another Windows update. <sighs> Let me try that. Is that three in a week? Uh, Windows updates. Uh, right. Fingers crossed this won't take too long. Uh, and I'm going to fire up the PC, and then all being well, I need to run out via Sutton and quickly nip into Mablethorpe just to come pick up a couple of bits and bobs. So I've got um, my boss here at the moment, um, so he can sort of keep an eye on things. And I'm expecting a delivery uh, this morning from Royal Mail. No idea what time that's going to come out. Let's have a quick look at me trail cam footage. Uh, we've got a beautiful clip of um, a badger, real big, beefy badger. Lots of mice, uh, rabbits, a couple of rabbits. Uh, what looks like the back end of a fox. And also captured what looks like the farm cat or the possibly feral cats that we saw the other day, which was on a, a recent video. Anyway, I'll look at those later because I just need to... Uh, nip off site for an hour whilst, whilst I've got the opportunity. Right, so I've just flown out, um, out funny enough, with, with, with Dan over, over something and uh, popped into Lidl um, and I went to go and get a couple of ready meals and some beers and some water and I come back with padlocks. <sighs> That's centre aisle, why does that do it to me? And when Dave and Julie were up at the weekend they bought Rasha a little treat so I'm just going to give Rasha a Smart bone chicken strip. Woo! If I can get it out of the container, right up on the bed, Rasha. Come, 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 come. There you go. Right. So she's all in. Um, so I'm running a little bit behind schedule to where I normally am now. As I said the site's really quiet. Uh, I've just got a couple of things to do in the office, and then I'm just going to go and give the uh, the loos and showers a, a, a very quick once over. Sorry, forgot to mention something else quite hilarious. Um, we're looking for a window cleaner for the cottage. Um, um, everywhere in Lincolnshire, it's all bungalows. Anyway, I well, was just driving back from uh, Mablethorpe with, with Dan in the car, and we're driving by, and the bottom of the lane where I am now, there's a window cleaner, window cleaner van. So I dropped Dan off, and come inside, spoke to my boss, and just said, am I all right to get a window cleaner in? So John, yeah, go for it, Neil. Just phone him up. So I couldn't see where he was, he's got a mobile number on the van and um, anyway he answers the phone and he said are you looking for any window, oh I'm a bit busy mate but I can put you on my books or oh, you know I've got I'm a bit too much work, you know that's that's a good position to be in so he took all the details and he goes is it a house or a bungalow? So after five minutes on the phone and all the rest of it I said it's a house it's got two floors on most of it, oh we don't do houses mate we only do bungalows around here, ah, window cleaners without ladders. Right, so we've still got stuff going on with this flipping cottage. Um, so allegedly, plumber here um, in the morning, so all being well, we can get some uh, some questions answered. Uh, just looking at the front, and then uh, we did do some jet washing yesterday with a little cart chair. Uh, the guys have been down today with a petrol um, industrial jet washer and this has come up really good and uh, so that's the jet washer that's been used um so we've got that little bit to do and a little bit of the front uh i'm gonna say all the conifers have been cut down the grass has had another cut down and trimmed down um I uh, just noticed they've left a couple of glasses up there. Let's go and put them in the yeah, sink. Sorry, and lots of um, slate putting around uh, to do. This outside table needs polishing and cleaning. And then we need to sort out bin days, for, uh, council bin days, for when um, for when that's that's all taking place. Right. 
and also um, I didn't actually do this the people have been down have actually done it I was going to do this this afternoon so that hedge is now cut back uh, but I do need to prune back um, some of this which I'm going to do tomorrow so that's all completed what else is going on now today sorry I ended up with Paul um, just going over some Bits and bobs are going to be going on, going on, on the site over winter, uh, which I'm not going to go into detail. Um, so if you remember yesterday, I cut this little laurel here. So that's, uh, they've, they've even cleared up them, all of them cuttings for us. So that's pretty good of them. Ah, oh, there's me missing spade. I'm looking for that. And the other thing I need to do is I'm going to go and put this, um, battery starter pack that uh, the travel trolls uh, gifted to the campsite I'm gonna go and put that on charge so um, we know that we've got that as a backup mm, so doing, oh. doing a mini unboxing um, sort of right so the really nice thing with this um, I didn't spot when the travel trolls did a review on this is this has got a mains charger um, to charge this up as well as if you're on the road or whatever you've got your normal Siggy plug uh, uh, these are uh, pump adapters for the compressor. I've got a wire brush, which I'm assuming is for battery terminals. Extension for the compressor. Uh, and the rest should be fairly straightforward. The only thing I'm not sorted out at the moment is at the minute, the... Uh, that's the lights. Is this is staying on and I don't know whether this has a power switch or not. Right, so it's a, allegedly it's a hundred percent charged. Let me just plug that in and make sure. Right, so apparently after two and a half minutes it auto turns off basically. So right, that's quite nice and that's gonna be a nice little addition to the uh to the campsite. Um might even check my own tyre pressures at some stage. They've not been done for a while. Right, that's all charging up and that's all charging up. Come on, Misty, come and say hello. Come and say hello. Where are you going? My little dog. Hello, 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 hello. Come on, Misty. Come on. Hello, hello. Come on. Hello. Come on. Come on. Right, so in the last few days, some of you will have noticed we've got sort of got Paul about. Um, so he is still local. Um, we're mainly now staying in Skegness with Wendy. Paul, just give a quick update um, on how Wendy is. So, if you're new here, so I'd better explain who you are, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Paul and Wendy came to the nurseries back in July. Yes. Was it July? July, yeah. Um, so, to live on the site, and basically, Paul was um, doing warden duties for a couple of days while well, I had a couple of days off, and Paul and Wendy were also looking after the cafe. So this previous videos you'll see me waffling all about a Wendy's breakfast which was going down a storm and to cut a long story short approximately four, five, 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 five weeks, weeks ago, weeks, God has gone fast, uh, Wendy was involved in a really bad crash and she's alright but how is Wendy Paul? She's doing fine now, she's, um, she's recovering slowly, she's still hobbling around on her crutches um, but she's getting there slowly. Um, She's not on a painkillers anymore, so it's just a matter of time waiting for her to to heal, basically. And to answer any questions, are Paul and Wendy back next year? Yes, they yes. are back. <laughs> the cabin will be back open. The cafe will be back open. Wendy's breakfasts will be back open. And I know when we won't reveal now because you can need to wait till next year. They've got some other exciting plans that they're working on um, for what they're going to be able to do on the catering side and yeah, yeah. and the little shop and things like that but um the the main the main thing is is Wendy, Wendy, uh, Wendy's Wendy's okay. breakfast still be back <laughs> it will it will be back this is we'll call Wendy next year an Arnold breakfast <laughs> I'll be back I'll be back all the day. um sorry trail cam footage I'm going to insert here and uh, coming up next an absolutely gorgeous clip of the, of the badger that um I caught last night the next two clips you're going to have to look very carefully. I'll, I might try and slow them down and you can see the back end of a fox and you can also very quickly, it's only a tiny clip, but I'll try and slow it down, you'll be able to see the cat that we caught over in these woods. And I've not seen uh, Dan's footage, but apparently he's got some really cracking footage. So make sure you head over to Travel Trolls and see what they caught on, what they got caught on camera.
And um, you've been, if you've been watching these videos of mine for a while, you, you'll know I've been doing some 5, 10 um, minute, very short video clips. So I've got a new one coming up about um, winter wardening or winter sitting is, is what it's going to be called, about looking after campsites over winter for people. Uh, and this has come about because there's a really a fantastic job going uh, for anybody that wants to uh, look after campsite over winter no pay but i'll explain more on a future vlog that's coming so yeah i must remember to uh to do that uh just say to paul it's been a bit of a weird day today uh i've ended up spending a couple of hours with paul uh, with uh, just, just going over a few bits and bobs and i am so tired yeah i've done very little manual work today and say i was going to do this hedge but that's been cut and gone pick those cuttings up and that was done for me so thank you to the people that have done that uh appreciate all right let's get into the office i'm, I'm still waiting for a check-in as well um there's always always the way this last couple of weeks when it's been really quiet i'm here till late waiting for one person hey ho that's the way the mop flops right, so i'm going to finish this off here i've got no idea how long this is going to be i think about five minutes um i've hardly done any filming today at all um with one thing and another and as ever if you're new here thanks for finding my channel thumbs up to you for finding it if you're not you've done so you can subscribe down there below and hit the notification bell and um i really enjoy i really hope that you're going to enjoy that takeaway that you've ordered tonight um i know you're thinking about it and it's going to be coming soon enjoy your takeaway and you know what guys i'll see you on the next one